But anyway, here's a quote from Nietzsche where he's talking about the thinker who doesn't think properly when reading these books, the person who reads and it's the scholar person. Quote, when he does not have a book between his fingers, he cannot think. When he thinks he is responding to a stimulus, a thought he has read, finally, all he does is to react. The scholar exhausts his whole strength in saying either yes or no to matter which has already been thought out or in criticizing it. He is no longer capable of thought on his own account. In him, the instinct of self-defense has become weak. Otherwise, he would defend himself against books. The scholar is a decadent. So he's like saying like, even people's self-defense, people being defensive of their own soul, of their own, on so many levels, like people now don't have any kind of self-defense with regards to things like this. You know, people using this to consume and not create is crazy. I've never used this to only consume anything. It's only been to create things. Everything I do on the internet is to, to fundamentally create things in reality in some sort of way that propels an idea forth that actually helps people or helps myself in some way. So you get this in interesting situation where it's like people don't have any kind of internal mental self-defense. People have pushed their self-defense down. People like with, this is why people go on these dopamine, like even young men are like, okay, I need to figure out how to be defensive again. So they end up going like on a dopamine detox to do this kind of no fat ritual thing. And then they go and do this kind of, um, you know, these, these disciplined things, which is nothing wrong with them. But this is kind of like the, the main way in these guys try and recover from this kind of lack of self-defense. So they, they, put into themselves and their identity these the defensive restrictions and, and, and disciplines so that certain aspects of society that are not for them or for their best interest inflict upon their soul. So that's the kind of roundabout way of, of how people like even you can implement these ideas as well. I mean like you can do the no fact thing you can do visualization techniques we're going to probably do visualize te uh, visualization techniques or implement them in mean like visualization techniques are all about what i'm talking about in regards to applying meditation to creation creativity because as i was saying it's all about mindset and perspective how you perceive yourself and your relation to the world if you perceive yourself in a negative way obviously you're not gonna be able to do these things that you want to do so you have to first check in with yourself before you actually try and achieve these certain states of mind to attain these attractions that you want to come into your life. So those are other things. Visualization techniques, mindset techniques, all of this stuff, you know, all of, all of the, the, the techniques that increase yourself to get self-defense against modern consumerist infection. And we're probably going to go into all of these in much more depth. But this is, again, what Nietzsche is saying. He's applying it to scholarly work, but it's also reapplicable to the modern day with regards to consumer society. But of course, like I'm saying here, there's these things that, because they constantly keep putting themselves into life, the reactionary versus the creative, a lot of people who are creative become reactionary because... Society doesn't really want you to be creative, because let's say if it's built on this kind of you know satanic system where it's trying to control your creative potential, which I would say that's what it is. I mean, it's it's like Moloch, it's like you know all of this type of stuff in different context. This they want you know the metaverse is a different form of Moloch, where it you know, you're going to sacrifice yourself to the metaverse and you think it's actually going to give you some rewards in return. That's exactly how Moloch works. But instead, you're actually sacrificing your physical existence, which is exactly how Moloch works. You sacrifice your physical existence for the belief of a gift that he's going to give in return to you, which doesn't occur because it's a deception. But, um, but again, it's this 
So when, when you are kind of encouraged into the reactionary lifestyle, you then actually also start to lose your ability to create. And we have this now, I mean, there's so many YouTubers, there's so many people that say they're creators, but they're just reactionaries. They're just reacting to how they see the world. Oh, I'm going to react to this video of Met Gala 2022. That type, you know, that kind of crap. Or, you know, I'm Ben Shapiro and I'm going to react to how this happened and I'm just going to use my political agendas, you know, that don't transcend the mundane life that we live in now to kind of critique the world that I see. You know, all this kind of stuff, is, it's fundamentally um, mundane. Hey guys, so just a quick update on My Rome Society. We have sold out on over 50% of the seats, so if you still want to get involved, book in a free consultation call with me down below. I'll run you down with what it is all about, or me or one of my colleagues will do so, and we can see if you are a perfect fit to the program. So I look forward to talking to you, and I'll see you on the inside.